What's up, so squad? Guys, I know it's the 4th of July and it's just like, watch for the video up, it's on the 4th. But you can make this banana pudding at any given daytime. It's a cool dessert, it's summertime, it's light and it's good. Now, I got this from TikTok. Never made banana pudding with condensed milk, fold in whipped cream or water. But we're gonna do it, okay? You saw the thumbnail, it came out amazing and it actually did taste great. Are you guys get ready? And if you're new to my channel, thank you for following me. Hope you enjoy all of my videos. Comment below with a red heart and let me know what state you're watching us from. So, with this recipe, you gonna need certain things. I'm gonna let you know. But before we get started, guess what, guys? Hit that intro. Okay, so it's called. What this recipe is that I'm actually gonna be like making a dub. I'm doubling it. So basically, you use like the three point some three point four ounce banana pudding, but. I'm making the big, it's the holidays, my family is here, I'm making dessert, so I am making a big um, one, I'm making a big one, so let's get started. <music> take this 14 ounce can of condensed milk I think this is um they said recipe from somebody's restaurant called Mac I'm gonna get it Magdalia's or Magdolia's could be some type of real famous famous restaurant and they banana pudding always sell out okay let's see what they're working with let me get my top <laughs> Okay, guys, I got this. So, if you want to do, like, the, um, the single recipe, you can go on TikTok and get those videos and stuff on, on the Magnolia's, um, restaurant, banana pudding. Again, I'm doubling this. Because I have a big family. I want to make a big bowl. So, I'm doubling this. Okay, guys, I got you. If you follow this recipe, you're going to need two cans of condensed milk. Milk. <laughs> you're going to need three cups of cold water. So what I did is that I stuck my water in the freezer for about 30, 40 minutes. Again, remember, I'm making a big one. And this guy's sitting in the freezer, refrigerator, for five to six hours. I let mine sit overnight. It's Sunday night, and I let mine sit overnight. So, that's three cups of water. Now I'm going in with my. 5.1 ounce banana pudding, the big ones. So I'm using the big ones. So you gotta use the big ones when you do my recipe. Look at that. Anybody made this recipe off of TikTok? Please let me know. And you're gonna need some uh, plastic wrap because you don't want the foam, the um, foam on your pudding. I'll be having those recipes. That's my newfound channel. Oh, 
I'll make sure. And what you do is that you place it in the refrigerator so it can get thick. And that's an overnight solution. Like five to six hours. But what time is it, Andrew? Like nine o'clock at night, Sunday? I don't know. I'm at the time. Okay, so that's why I'm doing mine overnight. Get up in the morning and finish this process. Michael, see you see a plastic wrap over there on the shelf. Michael. <laughs> Amateur cooking guy. <laughs> Go check out his channel. And it's getting thick. I just gotta taste it. I never made pudding with water. That's what tastes good. Okay. So now, grab your plastic wrap. So you don't want, because you do not want Get a banana put and get that um what's it called? The um look at that. Y'all hear them fireworks? Get the skin. They call it skin on it, so. desserts that with no cooking, you know, something's on a refrigerator that's nice and light. Okay, here the part where I got a tear. Summer desserts. That's what we're looking for. That's what we like. I keep trying to find these um, plastic wrap sheets. They're supposed to be more simple, simpler, and easier, but I can't never find them. Alright. So, here we go with the plastic wrap. And all you're going to do is that. You're gonna place it on here. You're gonna push it down and you're gonna refrigerate. Just because you don't wanna develop that skin on top. And there it is. In the refrigerator, five to six hours. But for me, overnight. See you guys in the morning. Okay guys, so Let's get see with this um, banana pudding. So what I did is that you gotta make your own heavy whipping cream. So I placed um, my bowl in the freezer in my um, blender um, blades. I don't know what these things called. The blades to the blender. <laughs> and I placed them in the freezer like for three, four hours. But it'll get really cold because when it's really cold, it helps develop the uh, whipping cream fast. So I am going to use this heavy whipping cream that I have right, see this heavy whipping cream I have right here. My son can basically turn his camera this way. I'm gonna see if it works. And it's, for the amount that I'm making, it's about maybe two pints. So I'm using this whole thing. This is a little bit up out of here. But this is a quart. And to this, you know, you wanna add some vanilla, cause you make the whipping cream, right? like a teaspoon of vanilla. And let me get some powdered sugar. That's my sweetener for my whipping cream. Okay, so it's gonna, I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of powdered sugar. This is my sweetener. Remember, I already got condensed milk in it. Condensed milk in the pudding. But you wanna make sure that your whipping cream, you know, has some flavor. And we're just gonna go in with the blender. I'm 
be back to it. I was just at home. And do your state even allow that? a few minutes more. I don't want to eat the to buy it. I'm going to get the clip. There it is. Look at it. Look at it. Look here. Fluffy homemade whipped cream. Let's get that pudding. So we're going to food. We're going to food. <laughs> we're going to fold our cool whip into this um banana put i tell you y'all this is my first time making this i got this on tiktok oh everybody enjoy this video okay guys this is my banana this is the pudding been in the refrigerator for me for 24 hours but some of you guys about six hours but it's been the refrigerator since i made it and look at that and that's just how it's supposed to look so what we're going to do is that we're going to take this cool whip and we're going to whip into the banana put into the pudding a little bit at a time, not stir it, but whip to bring it back to life. Mm. Let's try to fold it into this is what I'm going to do. That is also right as I can't really hold anything right. So we're gonna do I can't really get a grip on my spoon. You see how I bring the banana pudding to life? Look at that. Let's do a little bit on time. I'm gonna take the rest of this. I'm just going to pour it into the heavy whip, into the um, cool whip. And we're just going to mix it all up together to bring that cool whip, to bring that banana pudding back to life. Right, guys instead of using the um the uh, spatula I'm just gonna go ahead and whip it all up together and you're gonna whip in your whipping cream I thought it was cold but it's whipped in your whipping cream and your banana pudding and see your pudding here and look at it And we're gonna put this thing together. Now I just think we're gonna do it. Do it with cream cheese and everything in the pudding? I don't know. Y'all still this recipe. Michael took my spatula. <laughs> and y'all can see how creamy when you whip that um when you whip that food with it. And to the pudding. And so how stiff it goes from being overnight. Look at the name. Look at them. Look at that. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah, I, I, I just taste it off the floor. You know, I got this on TikTok. Um, they said some restaurant called um Madeline or 
my rain black people restaurant food banana pudding always be sold out and i found this on tiktok god i got me a new way to make that pudding they i got made my pudding that. with water huh they, um, they might got a new way of not sharing with nobody <laughs> i might got a new way not sharing all right guys i got my bananas got my cookies let's put this thing together okay so squad we start by i ain't into all that this is what i do i pull in my bananas I make my cookies, give it a bottom, you know, give it some at the bottom. Just like that. I need to, um, people be lining them up and all that. I don't do all that. We don't do all that. I don't put a lot, of, I don't place a lot of bananas in it, but I put enough. Michael, see if you see, I think I bought like three more bananas the other day. Yeah, hey, Walmart bag, right? Um, the Walmart bag or the food line bag, all the bags are getting on the ground. This is for 4th of July, y'all. I'm trying to show my dancers to start to go bad. That's okay. They're still eatable. Y'all see that? Now we're going to take this. Beautiful. Oh! They got some more bananas. I just want. I'm just going to. It's so nice and thick. Yeah. And it's so fluffy. Now did water and condensed milk. I gotta make some more cool whip. We're probably gonna get about two layers. And that's what I wanted. Um, two layers with this. And basically what we do, we just repeat. what I do. Then I take the cookie. And let me open my other box. So, so far, who like a lot of cookies? They may, um, they may put I do. So basically, this is a layering game. You just layer and layer and layer to everything that's gone. But what kills it, what's going to kill it, is the, pre the, pre the presentation on what you're going to serve it in. Now, I typically only make banana pudding. Uh, All right. Three times a year. What, three times a year? Yeah. I mean, I don't never make a damn on the year. I did. God, I only make a damn twice a year. No, you before Christmas and Thanksgiving. That's the only time I'm trying to get the damn pudding. My recipe is up. I used to make homemade, but this is done by the box, so yeah. We don't do a lot of bananas, so I took, I use about maybe four bananas in this whole recipe. This is my fluffiest banana pudding I had ever seen or made. So just like that, guys. And it's picture. 
I got make whipped cream. Y'all saw how I made it. I'll be making that off camera. And we're gonna come back. Place the whipped cream on top. I think for this, y'all, I know I'm gonna put the, the um, ingredients and I'm gonna do it my size. But typically, when people make this, you make it for more than just a handful of people. So I'm gonna do it, get an ingredients amount and the amount I made it for. That looks amazing. What y'all could be here to taste this? Where you going? I said I wish they was here to taste it. Oh, but they was here to taste it. But if, even if they was, they're not, they're not, I'm not sure with nobody. Michael don't like shaming that pudding, y'all. All right, just like that. I right, put that over there. Watch that out if I can make some cool whip. All right, y'all make the cool whip. And we be right back. So, so far, let me show you. I got like. Like I said, I didn't really invite nobody over. So I got like about 10 of these jars. And this is what my family banana pudding is going to um, um, place in. When dessert time come, I'm going to make everybody banana pudding. And this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, it's going to be kind of messy. Look. Stick their banana pudding right in the jars. If yeah, this is a messy situation, but tell me, they're not gonna like this. Kind of big from the bottom. And this is what it's gonna look like. That. All the way to the top, right? Just like that. Let me get that. And then, have me another spoon, Andrew. Have me a spoon. Break right down in there. Oh, give me a fork, plastic fork, it don't matter. Then you're going to place some little mason jars. The main one right there in the front. And you're going to take. So that good old homemade whipped cream that you made. And place on top like this. So that's for the family. That's for your family. Then you're gonna take, ah, oh, gotta get it. Some bananas. Take a banana or two. Are you gonna place it? Let me get a knife. I need a knife. Okay, guys. So let me just show. I'm just showing y'all how to do one job. Take a couple slices of bananas and stick them in just like that. They got bananas in the inside, right? I'm just gonna do three bananas, three spot banana slices. Nice and thin. Just like that. That's your banana slice. Then you're gonna take the same cookie. Take about one cookie. Place it in your hand and just crumble it up. Crumble some of that cookie topping. On top of this, y'all know I got arthritis. My hands starting to cramp up already. <laughs> That's something that cookie crumb my camera is clean. Then you're gonna take about a whole cookie and just place it on top like that. Y'all, like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified, guys. Until my next dessert video, food video, I am out. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful what? Fourth of July.
comment below do you like this um presentation it's gonna be key because it's gonna be your quickest one on my tiktok y'all i love you guys all right happy fourth